what up YouTube so welcome to a new video a little bit a little bit of a good news bad news situation here um as you can tell uh, probably in the title I don't know um, but I just did 455 for two um, and bad news I overshot the fuck out of it very very disappointing because one I should not have attempted it right um really had no business doing that today that is like a 25 pound double pr so obviously i'm getting stronger so like i guess that's good but um it's gonna be smarter than that because like just overdoing like that can really set me back um i don't want to get injured it's gonna take me longer to recover um it just really wasn't there with within the boundaries of the rp that should have been um i felt really good and i thought i could kind of force it obviously you cannot force it um so yeah so it's just gotta be smarter um gotta be stricter and it's like you know people will say like oh that was a PR, you should be good. Well, like, you know what? It was a dog shit, first of all. And then second of all, like, you set the standard, and even if it benefits you, you cannot lower the standard, right? So, um, we gotta do things the right way, and we cannot lower the standard just because it'll benefit us or make us look better, right? Um, and then day wasn't wasn't my best work, so um, kind of sucks what it is, but so I'll show you guys that. That's the bad news. Um, good news is we're getting we are getting stronger, so I, you know I guess some silver lining there, but not really because I'm really annoyed about it. And it's just really gonna piss me off, um, and we'll have to see how I recover from it because it's Friday right now. When I come in to bench on Monday, we'll just have to see how I recover. Um, also, good news get off of that topic i don't want to talk about that anymore um i'm testing out my mic inside the gym which is one thing i wanted to do was to test out the audio to be able to get good audio in here because it's very very loud with the music um and my old camera i didn't have a mic so i'm just trying to test out the audio here so the audio sounds nice and crisp um let me know you know i got a nice little mic on there um but yeah other than that um i'm gonna take a positive i don't know if you can see this but i got these these really nice lulu lemon shorts on my sister got me for christmas uh, so people think i'm about that lulu lemon lifestyle you know what i'm saying a bougie like that but the reality is they were a gift um but uh, at least at least my shorts look good you know but anyway i'm gonna get this um so it's friday so after friday i just blast arms a little tricep bicep work um remember i said before it's not how much you lift it's how much it looks like you lift so i'm gonna go ahead and blast some arms um i'll probably show you guys a little bit of that and then uh yeah you just just gotta be better you know but yeah over three times in 15 plays. The very next is on the side pocket and all of a sudden the flag's on the field. YouTube, can you see what this is? This is all seven of Lewis Hamilton's championship winning cars. Okay, now, hopefully 2023 is the year we get number eight. Officially get number eight. You know, if you know, you know. Uh, Abu Dhabi, if you know, you know. But anyway, um, what's up? It's obviously Saturday. Um, I'm actually about to go train. It's like, I don't know where my phone's at, brother but it's like 9.30ish, anyway. I'm gonna go train. I like to get my training done mid-morning Saturday because it just sets me up to be successful. And as you saw, um, so the way my training works is essentially Saturday's secondary squat day, lower body day, and right now it's more of like a hypertrophy day. So I'm gonna do high bar, um, Bulgarian split squats, and bell squat pr primarily, right? Some days we pull on Saturdays, but I don't believe I have any pulls today. I have to double check. Um, um, just, but if I do pull, it's usually just super light tech work, essentially, right? Now, the reason I like to train Saturday mornings and the whole Saturday routine that I have right now that I really like, because it just sets me up to be successful. And what I mean by that is like, so obviously you saw I woke up early. And by the way, I did not wake up, set my camera up, and then go back to sleep, because that's ridiculous, guys. I set my camera up last night and I just, for eight hours come on now but like let's be real here for a second um but anyway 
what I was saying was the reason I like that Saturday morning routine is because it just sets me up for success. By doing that is if I know Saturday morning, I want to be at the gym, 9, 30, 10, 9 a.m., uh, maybe some Sundays, 8 a.m., um, like if I, that's the time I want to be in the gym, okay, and I know I have a lower body day, I'm going to want my food in me. I'm going to want a meal in me. I'm going to want carbs in me, essentially, right? Now, to get that, I got to wake up early to make that food because I don't just want to eat something quick on my way out. I don't like how that um, affects my stomach and that can affect my training with my brace and my belt and whatnot, right? So I have to have some time between eating and training, right? And then in that downtime, um, I like to get a little bit of work done. I like to clean up a little bit. As you saw, I like the candles and whatnot. Um, just kind of like my me time, essentially. Um, but the reason I like this is because if I know I'm doing that every single Saturday morning, um, without saying, obviously, if I travel or whatnot, but if I'm doing every single Saturday morning, that means Friday night, you know what I got to do Friday night? I got to go to bed early. And if I go to bed early Friday night, I'm not wasting money, I'm not wasting time, and I'm not doing anything stupid. So... That's why I like that um, Saturday morning routine because I'm like, look, I gotta do this on Saturday morning. It's gonna keep me in check Friday. Not that I would anyway, but it just, you know, I'm not gonna waste my time, I'm not gonna waste my money, and I'm not gonna really know. So, we're just gonna go to sleep, and then we're gonna get our eight hours, we're gonna wake up, we're gonna make that breakfast because we need the carbs so we can go hit our um, our lower body day. And that's what we're about to go do. So I'm just gonna probably just be roll the lower body footage. Um, but yeah, and then after that, I'll probably just talk about my split because I have some questions about that, so we'll just cover that. But anyway, let's go to the gym. What is up guys okay so you guys just saw my saturday session it is now monday january 8th or 9th i don't know the exact date but anyway um it's monday i'm about to go uh bench and i'm gonna show you guys bench so um kind of give you an idea of my split because i know i had someone asking me so i just thought i'd like let me just throw it in the video you know um Monday, bench, Tuesday, squat, Wednesday, bench, Wednesday, bench, super light. I talked about that in some super old videos, but pretty chill, Wednesday, bench, super light, Thursday, deadlift, Friday, bench again, and then Saturday, which you obviously just saw, was secondary squat, which right now we're just drilling high bar, um, working some hypertrophy, essentially just building up my legs on that Saturday session, right? But anyway, that's my split, if you're wondering. Um, but yeah, so now, I'm about to go show you guys today's bench, and then I'm gonna show you guys probably tomorrow's squat, and that way you guys can kind of see how um, the split kind of looks from like your perspective. Because last video was deadlifts, so that means the next video I might cover deadlifts again, um, just to kind of give you an idea of where we're at. As far as competing goes, I'm not gonna say anything now, but might have Nats is in September. I do want to compete before that, and I already have a meet on my mind, so that's all I'll say. But anyway, I wanted to show you guys this real quick. So this is a new SD card I got. It's gonna allow me to film in 4K. So after this video, I'm gonna to try to do a video in 4K just to see what that looks like. So hopefully that is kind of exciting. I can't film right now in 4K because I've already started filming this video in 1080p, and if I film the second half in 4K, I could still only export it as 1080p because not all of it is in 4K, so we can't really do that. But anyway, that's what's up. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna go bench, so Monday, primary bench, if you wanna be technical about it, if you like those fancy words and whatnot, 
but yeah so we're gonna go get it done hopefully we feel good we had that big bench on friday we overshot so there's a chance today i don't feel too good like every time you overshoot there's a cost to that especially when you're bigger and stronger um it's just the cost is more than if you're small you know what i'm saying so um yeah i'm gonna get ready i'm gonna go get it done All right, what up, guys? You guys just saw squats. Obviously, um, moved fairly well. It's 635 for a top single, so pretty chill. It's kind of crazy. I'm not used to just being able to do 635 pretty much whenever I want to. Um, and like someone made the comment, you know, all my squats over 600 basically move the exact same, but I just, just because of speed, I pretty much know how much I have left in me. So um, that's pretty cool. But anyway, um, finished up squats. It was pretty super, super chill. And then I want to tell you guys, it's actually just got uploaded, but I did a Q&A with Joey and Will, Will William Squats on Instagram, one of the other flex coaches. So that Q&A is going to be linked down below if you guys want to check that out. Um, we talked about sink versus uh, soft touch bench. We talked about some of our dieting and bulking tips. And then talked about um, why we like tempo or when we program tempo. Just a few other stuff like that. Um, hopefully you can get something out of that. Um, but yeah, any other questions, obviously just let me know. Next video actually is going to be a Q&A. So if you got this far and you have a question for next video, drop it down in the comments below so we can get that Q&A uh, up for next video. But other than that, training is going good and just hopefully we can continue to push um, through this groove and get going in 2023. Got some more stuff coming up for you guys. So yeah, stay tuned. Had a million other things I wanted to tell you, but I don't remember. So hopefully in the next one, I do remember. But other than that, I will catch you guys in the next one. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Appreciate it, and I'll see you guys next time.